Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, here to do a question, comment, thing. Over the past few weeks, a lot of you may have been paying attention to the developing story involving the female, the Russian female punk trio known as Pussy Riot. They've been on trial in Russia for hooliganism, and basically what they did is they went to the Russian Orthodox Church to kind of do an impromptu performance of a song that they had written. And now they've basically gone through the whole trial process and have been found guilty and are now going to be sitting in prison for two years. A lot of people from the first world have expressed just how much of an overkill this sentence has been. But the band was able to offer some pretty awesome closing statements in regards to why they did this, the trial, their philosophy as well, and really expose this as not just being some kind of childish, juvenile prank, which some people have kind of labeled it as being. I will throw some links below where you yourself can read the closing statements offered by the band. And a lot of the motivation behind choosing the Russian Orthodox Church as just sort of a place to stage this protest is that it's kind of become a tool for politicians in that country to gain favor with the populace. Sound familiar? But out of all the things that the band has said about their philosophy and just their reasons for doing this in the trial, I thought that this quote right here is the most interesting out of all of them. Um, <laughs> in this closing statement, I would like to describe my firsthand experience of running afoul of this system. Our schooling, which is where the personality begins to form in a social context, a person's personality forms in a social context in school, any particularities of the individual are ignored. There is no individual approach, no study of culture, of philosophy, of basic knowledge about civic society. Officially, these subjects do exist, but they are still taught according to the Soviet model. And as a result, we see the marginalization of contemporary art in the public consciousness, a lack of motivation for philosophical thought, and gender stereotyping. The concept of the human being as a citizen gets swept away into a distant corner. Today's educational institutions teach people from childhood to live as automatons, not to pose the crucial questions consistent with their age. They inculcate cruelty and intolerance of non-conformity. Beginning in childhood, we forget our freedom. Really? Like this is what's motivating them? We have those issues here. This is absolutely depressing. This is real, actual rebellion. This is the power music can have when you're actually standing for something. Putting music in a place where it shouldn't be and actually giving it a message that has some potency to it, some importance to it. I love that these girls have not only used music and used what they feel is their art to not only fight against a regime with this level of oppressiveness, but they are also ready to come forward and fight for issues that most of the first world is yet to even resolve. The moral of the story is always think for yourself. Think critically. Think critically of me. Think critically of anything and everything you read. Think critically of other people who tell you what to think, other people who are in control of things. Think critically. Do everything you can in your power to maintain your ability to express how you feel and what you think. Use this situation to put what your situation is into context. Come into realization that, wow, I can actually say things about X, Y, and Z. I admire these girls for having something to say and having a reason to say it. I hope that the next two years are not too hard on them and that they're able to come back better than ever. And though I think some people could, again, call what they did juvenile, I don't think you could deny that it was an all-out success, that they were basically able to tarnish the 
public image of the regime that they were fighting against by going through this trial and basically allowing the entire world to see, yeah, look at how they're overacting to a bunch of masked girls jumping around and, and playing punk tunes in an orthodox church. I'm going to leave links to statements that the band has made in relation to this trial down below underneath this video. Read them. Read them. Read them. Three times. Take in what they're saying. And again, put into context uh, where they are and what they're dealing with and where you are and what you're dealing with. There are some things that are the same in terms of the problems they're suffering from and the problems that you are. But there are some advantages that you also need to realize that you have and, and you should take advantage of them. That's all I'm saying. So, that's it. Anthony Fantano, Pussy Riot, forever.